everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Detective Grimoire, the point-and-click adventure mystery game that has us all wondering who is posing as Foggy and ruining his name as a good little swamp creature and who killed uh, Richard Remington in cold blood. And we just unlocked a new challenge to go to talk to Sally the gift shop girl who was relentlessly flirting with me. Uh, so let's go talk to hey. her. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning, they're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in the swamp is covered in slime. Yes, it's but your angle this grimoire. slime. I have proof you were wearing them during the murder. The exact slime hasn't been found anywhere else. Your black le leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, you look I awful, you don't have to prove someone else to them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Yes, Besides, to clear your name. Look at them. What do you notice? They look loose and stretch. They're far too long for you to wear. You're too fat to wear these. You don't ever say that to a lady. They're loose and stretched. That's right. Someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in their body costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. They're framing her. It's not my job to know all the details. But it's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Tap and hold to wind up for it. How long can I wind him up for? Oh, he's cute. Oh, but he fell over. He's pretty cheap. Small plastic toy sold at the gift shop has the cartoony appearance of Foggy. Foggy's feet are hidden in the bucket of water. Hmm. Feels like I'm done talking to her. Okay. Let's see. So I'm looking for pieces of a costume. I kind of wonder if I go back to some of these areas uh, that I haven't been to in a couple episodes, like outside the office, the crossroads, the entrance. Maybe some of that will change. Uh, so let's go real quick, tap around yourself, some of the stairs. Don't fall in. Hmm. This seems to be. It's a fork in the road. How non-linear. Okay. There's a hollow part of the tree, uh, right at the front, but it's too dark to see inside. So, do I need a flashlight? Do do I have items I can access? No. What? What? Wait. Why there's a toy in the clues? That's strange. There must be something else. It's a fork in the- Those trees are more dense. It's like a forest back there. Wonder, what if I go towards the entrance? It's an old statue of Boggy. His feet are hidden in a bucket of murky water. Hmm. So never do you actually see The fence Boggy's that seems feet. to surround this entire area. Uh, just an odd old tree. No clues. Just one. I still don't quite understand why we have a tourist attraction here. Don't forget to use walk mode to move around. Why did it tell me that? Ah, Can I talk to you? Try and solve every suspect's challenge topic. If you're struggling, don't forget to present profiles and clues to people who might be interested. Oh, and hurry up. It's cold in this boat. Ah! Uh, sorry, 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 oh, sorry. Right. sorry. The water is black and deep. My favorite kind. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. 
Wait, where's the museum? That museum is quite a nice building, which makes it look even more out of place in the swamp. Is it being held up in the wooden support? I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. The same flowers that are described in the book. It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. Well, then you're just a fool. That museum is cool. <sighs> okay. Woods? Oh, hi there, little girl. Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little push in the right direction? Why do you think I'm... I'm getting the ideas? It involves ignoring you, pretty much. You need to push, but direction would help. You're the one who needs a little push. Mm, you're annoying. I'm getting a new idea. It involves ignoring you. Like it or not, I'm here to help you. I Are get you? it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? Uh, I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned, and I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing that could if be a place like this. If this little girl knows everything, why isn't swamp? she just taking sense. the case and, and, still, and telling people? Some like, things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. And At what? Hands in the, the air, mud, frustrated water, with trees. a grown man. Nope. But they've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again, hiding in a bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Hmm. Well, she wants me to obviously talk to people. So, trying to look around. What is that? That's the place I want to go. Why can I not go there? Ugh, hold on one second. I have to readjust myself. I've been sitting down for a little too long. Um, just trying to crank these out, you know. Uh, let's go back to Harper. Mm. Maybe? Feels like I'm done talking to him. Okay. So somebody I'm not done talking to yet. Oh? Wonder what others think of him. That's something I could ask. Let's see, can I present a clue? He saw Remington. Was he? Yes, he was the one that I'm afraid I have no one. Okay. I don't know. I was going to say, he was the one that saw um, Remington eating the hot dog. Show it to somebody else. Really? You're all interested in this, and hmm. you don't care. What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of... He was a lot of things. Don't lose that picture. And show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. Hmm. wonder if there's anything else. No well, thanks, costume. my friend. No, you don't have anything to say. Okay, well... Show it to Harper. I can show it to Harper. I can go right over here and show it to Harper. Mm. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but his men travel the world seeking mysterious hmm. animals to hunt. Okay. They consider myths and legends to be it's the interesting that it starts prey. to go dark. What do you think of him? It's here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protest recently, which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. Why does he care about what people like to eat? Hmm. What do you think of the old woman? We have a lot of suspects on that list. Okay, 
Okay, but you oh, work here with that. Say. No? Nothing. Got nothing to say. It was Mr. Remington's favorite food. That strange green powder isn't supposed to be there. Why am I ca carrying around a moldy hot dog? I can't help you. Yeah, I think so. I think Vincent I kind of just got stuck with. I wonder if he knows I'm that I'm a guy. busy man, and this doesn't look like it's worth my time. You have no interest in Echo? Let's see. Is there anything that you would be interested in? He's a talented man, that Burl. Sometimes I wonder if he'd be better off pursuing his photography full time, you know? Costume design. Mm-hmm. That's great. Nothing. Hmm. What else would be worth showing him? Don't know just yet. Do you know Echo? Try showing it to somebody. To okay. Couldn't tell me anything. Um. I wonder if I showed Echo the hunting mm. rifle, if he'd have anything to say. No thanks, my friend. Okay, nothing. Um, Sally works here. I wonder if she'd have anything to say about Echo, because it's still suggesting me that... Um, yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protests used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. Well, what's he tent? doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Has never spoken to. Has recently acquired. Spends less time holding. Spends more time holding. Okay. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and plans to eat it because he's so terrified. And more time in his tent. And less time in his tent. He spends more time in his tent. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing ha. that's more important than his protest. So a new challenge unlocked. Hmm. Do you have anything to say about anybody else who's usually I here? I really don't know what to tell you. Okay. They don't really know a whole lot about each other. You won't know anything else about this. So, let's go back to Echo and see what's up with that boy. Boy, man. Oh, there's his tent. I was wondering what people were saying. These flower petals about seem a little out of place. Ah. Like... Uh -huh. Let's unlock this challenge. I heard Oops. you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I've touched people. Have you even noticed something like that? I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit Most it's true? They are, but you can put your notebook You know, there's away. not a lot of other people there here. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, uh, maybe music. it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, bad puns. Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo is <gasps> hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. Notebook time. Drag an item into the space to draw it. I have a silly nickname. Weather goes tax foggy. Tax? Why would... Weather? Ghost? Foggy. You've been in your tent hiding from Boggy. <laughs> Why not? Does that mean I got it right? He doesn't have anything to say about... I wonder... Wait, wait. Harper, we talked about how somebody got into the storage mm. with a lockpick. What if I show him the lockpick? can't help you with that. No? Do I still have any more options for Echo? Ah. Feels like I'm done talking to him. Okay. 
Um. Let's see. She's been here a long time. You should She's ask someone else. No? Okay. Hmm. I have nothing good to say about that man. So I won't say anything at all. Fair enough. Let's see. What do you think? Show it to someone it? who doesn't who live in a tree. Oh, all right. Let's see. What no, you thank you. No. Okay. I already showed her the costume design, so I don't think there's much else. Maybe Can I can show bring me something dog? with liquid on it. I might be able to help you. There's still a lot of clues that I haven't found yet. You can yet. put that away. I can't help you with it. Okay. She's been here a long time, which means she has to know something and... I'm not even sure who that is. You should ask... A fascinating old woman who lives in a wonderful treehouse. Hmm. She would do some dozen. Okay. So she doesn't care much about other people. Flower book I got from her house. No, thank you. She's been here a long time. Which means one of these things has you bring to be something off. with you. Something. There's samples of flowers. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. Oh. And one of them only grows around the museum. But I can't collect those flowers. I don't think she's got much for me. Let's see. I don't know where else and who else to talk to. What? Just because it feels like I'm done talking to them doesn't mean I am. You want me to sign a photograph for you? I'm a busy man. Okay. Hmm. Can we go this way? There really isn't anyone up here. Something happened here. There are signs of a struggle between the... There has to be something else here, because there's so many clues that I haven't found yet. Maybe let's mm, look at some clues. Look at notes. That's just the map. I can't look back over my notes. Or I suppose I probably have to go to clues. Hmm. Symbol drawing and notes showing the design of the bunny costume found discarded in the trash can. Parts. Okay, I won't make you guys sit through with me while I read all these clues. Um, so I'm going to end this episode for now and probably dig around, look around, uh, see if I can come up with anything, see what my next step is going to be. I am a little, alright, I'll admit it now, I'm kind of a little bit lost about what to do. Uh, but I won't make you guys sit here with me while I mumble my way through it. So. Thank you for watching. This has been episode 5. I'm Gracie from Steel Streams, one half of the Steel Streams team. We put out uh, multiple videos every week, about every other day. So you're looking at three to four videos a week, and a lot of it is gaming content, um, geek, culture, film, anything like that. Uh, so feel free to like, share, subscribe. Let us know in a comment down below that you liked this video. And uh, connect with us on social media. We'd love to hear from you. And we, uh, so... Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.